Fred, the course is right here. When are you I'm, driving? I'm in the course. That's what I was just saying. No, you were over there. This is the course. Okay, this is what we're driving down. Go straight. Why are you going sideways? This is the track that we just raced down right here. So I was going down the right side right over here. <clears throat> so this is the conditions that we run under. It's a lot smoother over there. <laughs> but that's going to be next month. Over there, see how it's torn up way over there? That was last month or two months ago, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can still see the finish line way down there. So, move over toward the cone over here. That's where I run. Yeah, right about in here. I'm pretty much about 10 feet, 8, 10 feet off the cone there is where I was heading down. I used to run like 3 feet off the cones, but they kind of, sometimes they go like this on the track. But you can see how torn up it gets going down this damn thing. Somewhere down here is a big rut. See, there's a rut right there. That might have been what I got, but see, it's ruddy over here, too. All I know is the bike got caught in some kind of a rut. It took off on me. <clears throat> I think I was liking this line here, but it's, it's definitely not happy, whatever it was. I was looking at all this stuff coming up, and then the bike just started going. It recovered down here, but, but all, through the, all through this area here, it was kind of weaving around. Calm down, came out of it. Feel the truck's getting rougher and rougher now. Yeah. You hear it bouncing now. You don't feel none of those bouncing when you're going down the track. You just, you just know it's rough. You know? Yeah, you're just trying to tuck in and stay in and go as fast as you can. <laughs> and it's hard to see it through that windshield. It's pretty, <clears throat> pretty crusty. Is this the end or is it really this is the end? And you were supposed to, and you blew out the back door. Uh, I didn't actually go out the back door. They had uh, coned off with the big dip was down there. They talked about in my meeting this morning. Yeah. So I pretty much just stayed in the middle um, with light braking and just letting it just coast out. You know? yeah. So I did what 131, 110, and then blow up. <laughs> but you know, I go all the way down here doing this normal. <clears throat> So there's gonna be a big dip down here. That cone's going across, all the way across. There's like a uh, 20 degree angle. You can see where people are stuck. Yeah, there. so it's probably right through here. There's a big dip. I wouldn't see the dip. I didn't even feel it but the first time. Probably right here. See how soft and shitty it is right here. That might be it. Or it might be just slightly in here. It was pretty broken up ground. It was all potato chipped real bad. So see how it's all potato chipped over here? Yeah. It's all broken up. It's not, this is hard here. It's all broken up through there. I was walking through it crunchies. So this is where it was at. Because I, I turned out right through here. I didn't go down this deep. So, so anyway, that's the, uh, that's what we race on. In the morning, it's not too bad. And as the runs go on, it gets worse. So anyway, there you go. See how the, uh, the dust devils are coming up. The wind's picking up for the afternoon like it always does. There's a whole bunch of them down there. Look at all that. Some of those are vehicles, but those, those are actually rotating over there. Yeah, you stand in the middle of them and you, uh, you get real dirty, but they, it breaks it up if you want to. So, you know, lake bed's four miles long, four and a half miles long, and about a mile wide, so it goes from shore to shore over there. It's got a couple of out places too, so it is what it is. Oh well, there you go.